Hey, big old freak, huh? Big booty, big old tree. Huh? I'ma make him wait for the puss. Wait, wait, hit it in big old ski. Hey, feet on the bed. <coughs> Hi guys, this is my new kitty. Her name is Natasha. Say hi. She's like wanting to play with my braids and like scratch them out of my head. But anyways, yes, I'm a new cat owner. Um, it has been great. She is amazing. I love her. Her name is Natasha, like I said, but she has so many nicknames already. Like I call her Titi, baby girl. Mamita, I call her all types of things, ouch. <laughs> She's really trying to go after my braids. But yes, this is Natasha, look how pretty. Mm. Yeah. Mm. She can be calm when she wants to be, and she can be feisty when she wants to be. Anyways, I hope I can get through this video. So, basically this, oh God. So basically, I'm doing a video on how to have a hot girl summer. So you guys know that I recently graduated from Georgia State University and this summer is just kind of going to kind of be a summer of of course celebration because I graduated from college. So I want it to be the best summer that I've ever had. Um, I'm 21, I'm about to be 22 next month in July. So yes, it's just gonna be a hot girl summer. I think the number one hot girl rule is to have confidence. Have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your looks, have confidence in your clothes, have confidence in who you are, have confidence walking down the street, have confidence in the grocery store, have confidence in the club, okay? Always be confident in yourself. And I know it's easier to say it than to actually do it because I struggle with it all the time, but I'm telling you guys, confidence is key. So, you know, I'm on here with my scars and everything. And it takes a lot of confidence to come on camera and put a video out to 20,000 subscribers with these scars, acne scars on my face. Um, so yeah, you just kind of have to own it and be you and do you, boo-boo, and don't care what nobody think. People gonna talk anyways, so you might as well give them something to talk about. So of course, being a hot girl basically means being a baddie. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be bad at all times. So if you're going out, well, if you're going to a casual spot, you know, wear flats. But if you're going to the club or you're going to an event or like some popping stuff, do not wear no flats. Don't wear no flats, okay? You need to be on your hot girl, okay? I'm telling you. Don't want some cute little heels you can walk in. Look, for me, I used to always be like, how do people wear heels? Like my feet are burning, my calves are burning. Like I really don't know how people do this all the time. Once you consistently wear them and practice, it gets easier and easier, I promise you. So now I don't ask that question anymore. I know how they do it because I can do it now. I can stay in heels all day long and never take your heels off at the club, okay? Never take your heels off. You better waddle. You better waddle and wobble out that club. Don't take them heels off. So when you're being a hot girl, um, you don't necessarily have to wear makeup. You can if you want, but it's totally up to you. Some people don't like makeup. Some people love a beat face. Like me, I like to be in between, but I only like to be like natural face when I don't have like a bunch of scars on my face because I just feel, you know, I just want like a good overall clear skin tone. But basically, in the daytime, don't wear makeup. I'm telling you, it's a if you're not gonna be indoors, if, it's, if you want to an outdoor event or like a pool party, dead it. Just do lashes and lip gloss, I'm telling you. Look, I got my lash extensions on so I could just be, have a little natural little beat, you know what I'm saying? It's effortless. It's a lash and lip gloss summer. It's too hot out here to be to be caking on foundation, concealer, powder, anybody got time for that. Do it in the nighttime, okay? And get your pics at night. So um, when you go to the club, when you go to your nighttime events, if you go on a date, yes, makeup in the daytime it's too hot you're gonna regret it at least for me i always regret it when i wear makeup in the daytime like a full face and i know i'm gonna be outside i just look my confidence is gonna be like way down because i'm gonna be worried about sweating and trying to pat the makeup and making sure it don't look patchy because i'm patting on my face and kind of wiping it off so you just want to make sure that you do the best option for the event you're going to okay because you do not want to be out here 
looking crazy, makeup looking cakey and and look also um what I did look I went to Carnival right I went to Atlanta Carnival about like two and a half weeks ago wore makeup I wore a full beat in the sun from 12 earlier than that from like 11 in the morning to what was it like four o'clock the parade ended and when I tell you my skin like that's why I have all these dark spots like this is acne from wearing a full face beat in 97 degree weather and you know it was probably I'm dancing and whining and it was just all bad so I got my skin was just so messed up after that so I'm telling you guys if you have sensitive skin or you have um, acne prone skin just save that little beat for the nighttime because it's not worth it you'll save yourself in the long run so another part of having a hot girl summer is going out with your friends, having a good time, all y'all getting cute, okay? And also have don't have no boring friends. Like I'm telling y'all, get you a group of girls who hype you up, who are all baddies in their own way, okay? And who you feel confident around. And you know, you don't want nobody petty in your circle. Like I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to find a group of girls who are unproblematic, we are all baddies, okay? Let me tell you, not one of us is lacking. We all tens, okay? Period. And if they say we not, they lying. They lying. <laughs> so basically, yes, find you a good group of girls who like to go out and, you know, not just sit at home and do no boring stuff. And when I go out, I like to dance. Like I hate when like people just want to go out and just stand there and look at other people. I'm not here to look at other people or I'm not here to just stand here. I'm here to... <clears throat> Sip on my wine, dance a little bit, maybe talk a little bit, if you know, maybe talk a little bit and have a good time. Like, ain't nobody trying to go out, like that's just a waste to me, just to go out and look around. Like, I'm trying to feel the vibes, dance, meet new people. That's all part of having a good time when you go out. So when you go out, um, what I do is I kind of just say yes. Of course, don't just say yes to anything, but like if there's something that you really want to do, then say yes. If somebody like asks you to do something or asks you if you want to drink or what, 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 of course be safe, say yes. Get to know someone, even if you're not interested in them, you know, just get to know them. It's okay to talk and chat and you never know who you're going to meet. And you also kind of make connections, but you know, it's not going like going out is not the best place to make club connections but just like in general of like moves and things to do in the summer and um people's energy and good energy to be around so yeah just say yes you know live in the moment have a good time be out with your hype friends and turn up okay that's definitely part of having a hot girl summer hit the pool parties hit the club hit the bars hit the events you know what I'm saying? Have a good time. Don't be stuck in the house uh, complaining about how you need friends who do this and that. Go out and find them. Go out and find them. Or hit up somebody who you wouldn't usually hit up and see what they on. You know what I'm saying? See what they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Feel out the energy. Feel out the vibes. So the next thing is that it's hot in the summer. Wear what you want to wear. Wear what you're going to be comfortable in. Wear what you want to be sexy in wear what you feel is right for wherever you're going okay don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't wear especially a dude okay because we on our hot girl ish this summer all right and we gonna wear what we want to wear okay we gonna be baddies while doing it period look I used to let someone tell me what I can and can't wear and it was the biggest mistake ever okay you feel so trapped and just like I don't know you just feel so trapped is really the right word like you just feel like who are you I'm a whole individual I'm a whole person I can make decisions for myself if I feel like I want to wear this I will wear it I don't care how short it is I don't care how revealing it is I feel confident in it so I'm gonna wear it and that's on period Another thing about having a hot girl summer is traveling. Travel with your besties. I'm actually going, actually on the 4th of July, I will be in Miami with my besties. And how many of us is it? It is, oh my gosh, how many of us is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's about six or seven of us. 
we going to Miami for the 4th of July and it's about to be a lituation. You have to go on a girl's trip in the summer. That is how you have a hot girl summer. So we're gonna have be on our hot girl stuff while we in Miami and it's about to be a lituation. It's about to be a move, okay? All of us are 21 and older. So you know, I feel like when you're younger, cause I know I have some younger girls watching me, you just have to make the best of it when you're younger because you're not going to be able to do everything that everybody else is doing. So you're going to have to try to finesse and finagle or you're just going to have to try to come up with um, things that you can do that are still the same amount of fun as if you were 21 or older. But you know, just find your way. You know what I'm saying? Because you can still have fun and not be 21. Like, that's a lie. People say, because I've had people tell me like, don't even go to Miami if you're not 21. Like, no, I went when I wasn't 21 and I still had the time of my life. So you will have a good time regardless. Just make sure you're safe and you know, yeah, just make sure you're safe. So when you travel, you gotta wear your best outfit. You gotta get your best swimsuits, okay? You can't be wearing no regular clothes that you was wearing back in your hometown. Like if you going to Miami or you going on vacation to like a tropical destination or just going to another city period, you gotta wear new clothes, new outfits, and you gotta make sure you get good pictures so you can post, okay? Part of having a hot girl summer is wearing your best outfit and posting it on the gram. You can't, you can't not post it on the gram. Come on now, you gotta post it on the gram. And make sure you got friends who take good pictures because I hate when I tell somebody, ask somebody to take a picture and they take two photos and then leave. And be like, here you, they take two photos and be like, here you go. No, take 20, keep snapping. Keep snap, 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 snap. Cause I'm gonna be hitting, look, I'm gonna be like this. Period, okay? I'm gonna be, keep it going, okay? Keep it going. So, um, yeah, if you going on vacation with your friends, do like, maybe do like a little matching swimsuit thing or do whatever y'all are comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it a whole thing. Go to the thrift store, get you some swimsuits. Um, what I do is I go on Zaffle. They have um, swimsuits for the low low. I'll thrift for swimsuits sometimes, but you know, thrift store could be kind of iffy, so you gotta be careful. Um, I also, if you wanna just buy swimsuits, like regular swimsuits, um, matte collection, they have really cute, like IG baddie type swimsuits. So I'm just gonna show y'all a few of my hot girl swimsuits because you gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You can't be doing no regular, regular, schmegula, okay? You gotta be popping 10. So I got this white swimsuit, so, so cute. I got it from Zaffle, and I'm pretty sure it was probably like 15, $15. And you know how some people, people do like 15 for the top, 15 for the bottom? No, this is like 15 for the whole swimsuit. So super cute, it fits perfectly. Like I couldn't ask for a better fitting swimsuit. Um, but you also do have to be careful when you buy from Zaffle because some of the swimsuits are jank. Like I'll show you. So I ordered this red um, snake skin swimsuit, right? The bottoms fit fine. Um, I can wear these no problem. But the top, this is the top. Um, the back of it, it has no like connector piece. Like you can't connect it in the, they gave me like two of the same pieces on the ends. So I can't even wear the top. But I just paired this with a black um, bra top. You know what I'm saying? Or like a, a black um, sports bra or whatever. Or you can just buy a black swimsuit top and it looks the same. It looks like nothing was even missing. So just kind of be wary and be careful of that. But Yes, get you some hot girl swimsuits. So, um, I actually ordered some for my upcoming trip to Miami. And they are so, so cute. I got them from Matt Collection. They were having a sale, um, two swimsuits for, what was it, like $25? So, you know, <laughs> they have some cute, cute swimsuits. So, I got this really cute green snakeskin bikini. And let me tell you, body look right, body looking right. Yes, so, so cute. So definitely y'all will see these on my Instagram, like don't even worry. Um, I also got this 
really cute one piece it's like a cheetah print one, one piece i'll put a picture right here of both of my swimsuits that i ordered but yes i cannot wait like i'm telling y'all y'all not ready for these pictures <laughs> y'all not ready for these pictures and let me show you one swimsuit this is one swimsuit that i got from the thrift store that i actually really really like um and it just so happened to I actually found the bottoms first and then i found the top so it just so happened to work out perfectly in my favor so these are the bottoms just regular hot pink bottoms and then this is the top so it has like green on the inside and then it has the same color on the outside and it fits perfectly it fits perfectly there's nothing wrong with it perfectly good swimsuit from the thrift store for the low low so that's being a hot girl on a budget okay because look we gotta huh? I'd rather spend money on like doing activities rather than like breaking the bank just to look good but I'm sitting like in the house I'm sitting in the Airbnb like because I can't afford to do nothing else like you know what I'm saying so just do do what you can do what you can so next on our hot girl agenda is listening to bad bitch music you gotta listen to Meg. First of all, she came up with the term hot girl. You gotta listen to Meg the Stallion. If you're not, what you're doing, you obviously really don't wanna be a hot girl. She is giving us the rule book, okay? She's giving us the playbook, okay? So you gotta listen to Meg, you gotta listen to City Girls, you gotta listen to Nikki. Come on, if you listening to Nikki, what you doing? She started all of it, all of it, really. Come on now. You gotta go listen to Nikki. If you're going to Miami, you gotta listen to Trina. You gotta listen to City Girls, like I said. Like, you gotta listen to Cash Doll. You gotta listen to Asian Doll. You gotta listen to whoever you You gotta listen to Rennie Rucci. You gotta listen to uh, Queen Key. You know what I'm saying? You gotta listen to Bad Bit Music because it's gonna stick in your head and it's gonna help you understand your worth and they're gonna give you confidence, okay? When I listen to Nikki or when I listen to Meg, I am confident. I know I look good. You can't tell me. I you can't tell me I don't look good, okay? So listen to music that boosts your confidence. Listen to music that gives you that attitude, that little spice, you know what I'm saying? That is a huge key to having a hot girl summer. When you're driving down the street, going to the grocery store, hot girl music only. We're not listening to no LMA. We ain't listening to no her. We ain't listening to no, well, you know, Summer Walker, that's my girl. But you know, we ain't listening to no sap music this summer, okay? We trying to be on our hot girl-ish, bad bitch music only. So next in our hot girl summer agenda is we doing brunch and mimosas, okay? We put on our rich auntie outfits, popping on our heels and our church hats, you know what I'm saying? And we going out to brunch with our friends and we drinking mimosa and wine. The key to having a hot girl summer don't get too lit, okay? Because there's going to be a sad girl summer, okay? If you get too, too lit, you're not going to be aware of your surroundings, first of all, which is very important. You're not going to be self-aware because you're not going to have control over your body because you're so intoxicated. So what I like to do is, um, I'm not a hard liquor person. If that's for you, fine. You can handle yourself on that. Perfect. Like, fine. Go for it. Like, I'll just sip on hard liquor. I'm not going to be drinking. But... I am a wine girl. Like wine is all I need to get my buzz, okay? So wine and mimosas. We going to brunch, okay? We going to brunch with our friends and we getting the chicken and waffles, period. Okay, we ain't eating nothing else. <laughs> so make sure if you're drinking that you're being safe, that you're with your friends, um, that you look good, you know, cause alcohol can give you that little bit of boost and a little bit of confidence that you need. You know what I'm saying? We dancing, we twerking, we working, okay, and we having a good time. Yes, yeah, so of course, drink your honey, drink your um, rum and coke, all of that. But I'm telling you, wine drunk is the best drunk, and that's on period. You don't get too intoxicated. You can still control yourself, okay. Wine does not get you too messed up. You don't get a hangover. When you be drinking, you gotta take an Uber home. And you know, Uber drivers out here is getting crazy these days. Ain't nobody got time to be getting snatched up having to jump out the car because the Uber driver acting crazy. Look now, okay? So just make sure that you're being safe. Choose the best drinking option for you. If you're gonna do hard liquor, make sure you're with friends, like a group of friends, not just one friend, because 
you never know that one friend y'all both might decide to y'all both might decide to have a good time and then the both y'all can't get home just always have a designated driver if y'all are driving and if you can't drive always uber okay okay because you can't handle you can't handle hot girl summer if you kidnapped it's a sad girl summer it's a sad girl summer if you can kidnapped i'm sorry okay so this is a very important topic on how to have hot girl summer hygiene okay it's hot i get it okay it's a thousand degrees you can't always stay fresh especially if you're gonna be out all day long but bring some wipes with you okay and don't do them those um what do they call them don't do the little the little special uh summer's eve wipes okay just do some regular baby wipes and keep it fresh because that other stuff just mess up your ph anybody got time for that Keep your deodorant on you keep your little perfume on you keep some a little bit of a little bit of wipes in your bag something to keep you fresh throughout the day because you do not want to be funky okay we look it i know it shouldn't have to be said but it does we need to shower shower shave do some um body scrubs i use two body scrubs i use a strawberry lemonade body scrub that i got from what the atlanta bath factory something like that and then I also got a shea butter sugar scrub that I got from um, somebody sent it to me and it is amazing okay it keeps my melanin and keeps my skin popping gets rid of the dead skin cells um, I like to use it right after I shave because you know your skin be feeling funny right after you shave you got to really moisturize and hydrate and get up in there so make sure that you're using um, body scrubs your favorite soap um, make sure that you're showering okay it shouldn't have to be said but look it has to be said because people be musty at 8 a.m. I don't know how you're musty at 8 a.m. Okay, you just got up out the bed. All right, just got up out the bed. You got the option to shower before you leave the house. Wake up early, get in that shower. Okay, so another part of having a hot girl summer is being in your bag. Okay, don't let nobody get get in the way of you getting your money. Okay, because you can't have a hot girl summer and be broke like it don't work like that you you just want to sit at the house honestly so be in your bag get your money up get your funds up go on that trip okay it's so worth it let me tell you work in the day hot girl at night you know working girl in the day hot girl at night okay you gotta fund your hot girl summer you gotta fund your travels you gotta fund your looks your outfits your makeup your hair okay you gotta be on your, your lashes yeah look okay you have things to buy people to see places to go that is part of having a hot girl summer being about your money and don't let no nigga get in the way of that so last but not least on the hot girl agenda is if that nigga giving you a headache let him go okay let him go period because look it's another one waiting he waiting on you to drop him i promise you i promise he waiting on him to, on you to drop him we don't have time for headaches okay we're trying to live our best lives okay we're trying to be, live our best best lives be the baddies that we are we're trying to stay hydrated and moisturized we're trying to be in our bag okay we're trying to be in our bag okay we're trying to be in our bag we trying to be in our bag, okay? So you don't need no distractions. You don't need nobody giving you a headache. You trying to live carefree, live your best life, and be your honest and true, most authentic self. And you don't need nobody clouding your judgment or making you a sad girl. It's not a sad girl summer, like I said. Don't have nobody telling you what to do, where you can go, who you can see, who you can't see, okay? And if he did, and if he is, he's not the one for you. And that's just that. So I hope you guys have the best hot girl summer. Um, I know I am now that I'm graduated and I'm free and I'm just here making my money, doing my YouTube channel and living my life. I'm gonna have the best hot girl summer I could possibly have. Um, I'm so excited for my trip coming up. I'm also gonna be in Jamaica for two weeks. So, you know, and I'm just gonna be, it's, I'm gonna be in Jamaica during my birthday too. So you already know I'm about to have a hot girl summer. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys have your best hot girl summer. And um, be on the lookout for the next video. And thank you guys for watching.